Hey everybody, hope you're all doing good. And as promised today, I'm gonna to start in uh, on the finesse jig, uh, detailed uh, sort of comprehensive overview of finesse jig fishing. And um, this is something, this is another one of those techniques uh, that really got started strong back in the Ozarks, you know, probably 25 or 30 years ago. We got into a deal where um, I think a lot of people probably have heard of the Aikens jig now, but that was, uh, there was a couple, uh, the father and son named Jim and Troy Aikens uh, lived here outside of Springfield and um, them and a handful of other guys started doing really good on these little homemade, you know, small finesse jigs. Um, it sort of spread across the country and throughout the years, um, there's been a lot of modifications on the, the original Aikens jig um, that has sort of been classified as finesse jigs. And finesse jig fishing, you know, one thing that I found out about it, it's sort of, it's sort of taken over a lot of the jig fishing that people do in the, across the country because back when I got started out um, years ago, you know, the big deal back then was the big full-size jigs, you know, the half ounce uh, jigs, full skirts, black and blue, um, with like the, the number 11, number one pork frogs. I mean, that's what everybody used all the time back then. We didn't even have finesse jigs. And uh, that got to be sort of the staple of jig fishing. And it seems like to me about the last, um, oh, probably the last uh, 10 years or so, finesse jigs have sort of taken over the jig fishing genre a little bit. There's still a, a place for every other jig category. Your swim jigs, your football head jigs, your swing head jigs, your flipping jigs, your casting jigs. There's just, there's a time and place for those. But overall, the finesse jigs have taken sort of front and center as far as the adaptability um, with different type of, of, of head designs and, and hooks and skirt possibilities. So anyway, let's get into it and I'm gonna show you all about them. Here we go. Okay, everybody, um, this is my finesse jig setup right here. And this looks simple, but like I said, there's a lot of diff different diversity that comes with this. And I sort of wanna show you what I got here. Um, this right here, like I said, this is two different types. This right here, for example, this is more of the finesse, this is the true finesse jig, more of the uh, Aikens jig, got more of a, a small wire hook on it. Of course, I trim the weed guard back quite a bit, and I'll, I'll set one up there to show you a little bit. But this is more for the pitching and casting, open water, rocky banks, that type of stuff. Um, just the straight old Aikens jig. And this one right here, um, this is actually, uh, this is made by Sheldon Collings, Fish Tech Lures. Uh, this, is a, this is sort of a heavy duty finesse jig. Ball head again, but you've got a heavy duty it's not an oversized one, but it's a flipping style hook that that can actually allow you to fish this bait in super heavy cover um, with heavy line uh, with bigger profile uh, trailers, even though it is a compact finesse jig. Um, and here's uh, two other ones. This is another example of what the, the uh, Aikens jig looks like without a skirt on it. You can see it's just sort of a small wire ball head jig, pretty simple profile. And here's another one I like to use. This is this is a jewel spider head. Uh, this is another, this is one I sort of like to use when I'm casting in deeper water. It's got an O'Shaughnessy bend on it, a wire guard, um, and it works really good. Like in you know I like to fish this bait like 10 to 30 foot deep around rocks and points and stuff like that. Now, this the trailer setup I got on it. and I'm going to set this up for you in a second. I use basically three different trailers. I use the uh, Zoom, uh, the uh, Little Critter Craw by Zoom, and a Zoom uh, Twin Tail, and then the Zoom Super Chunk Junior. And those are the three trailers I use 90% of the time. So let me show you a little bit more about now how, do I, how I like to rig these up. Okay, let's get into how I like to rig these things up. And first of all, you know, I hand tie all my skirts. I usually buy my jigs without skirts on them because I can tie them the colors I want and I can put the amount of strands in it, make them as full or sparse as I want to. So that's one thing I'd recommend for everybody is to get a skirt tying kit, buy your skirt laters and start tying your own skirts. On my finesse jigs, um, I use a combination of the, of the living rubber and of the silicone both, it just depends on the situation. But the big thing I want to sort of get into a little bit is you want to try to tie these with wire if you can. 
because here's the difference. Here's one tied with just a regular skirt collar and see how that, see how much you can see that skirt collar there. And here's one that I tied with wire. Just see how much more neat the wire one looks. It flares it out better, gives it a more natural look, um, makes it tighter against there. You can see the difference. And in that clear water, that makes a big difference. So I'm always tying with wire with that. Secondly, the way I rig them up is this is one of my favorite tra trailers. It's a Zoom Little Critter Crawl. One of the first things I do on this is, you know, I'll, I'll take and I'll pull the side legs off of it like that, and then I'll cut it back about that much, and then I'll cut the tentacles off like there. So I've got that, it's, it's sort of set up like that. And on this particular setup here, um, you know, I'm just threading it on. Get it threaded on. Sort of like that. And there's my setup like this. This is like the Ozarks Killer Finesse Jig Setup. Zoom Little Critter Craw, hand tied uh, living, or, uh, living rubber skirt, round rubber skirt. And of course, you know, I'll cut the, the weed guard quite a bit. I'll even thin it out too. So I've got the weed guard set up like that. That's my, that's my first setup. Now the second setup I use um, is the heavier one, which is the, fe the, the fish tech jig. Um, like you said, it's got the ball head. It's still a super small profile. It's about the same profile as the Aikens, but the difference is it's got this, this nice flipping hook in it, really stiff flipping hook. Um, it's basically got a flipping hook in a finesse jig body and uh, Here again, I just don't have this one tied up, but I wire tie it I don't keep it like that and on this particular setup. This is when I'm using the super chunk junior um, I'm want I'm basically wanting the same look as a full-size jig But I want it a little bit more finessey. So I'll use the uh, The uh, super chunk junior on the flipping jigs like this sort of gives you that particular profile and so you've got you know it's a it's a small compact yet it's you know it's got a little bit of a bulk to it so here would be the difference in the two you can see up there but look at that again one more time look at the difference between the collar and the wire on there notice how much more clean the wire looks on there wire is a little bit harder it takes longer to tie but i'm telling you it makes a big difference in in certain situations like that now the other one I like is I'm, I'm going to get back to the Jewel Spider Jig. Now, this is the Jewel Spider Jig. It's got the wire O'Shaughnessy hook. It's got the wire guard on it, ball head. And on this particular setup, this is when I like using the twin tail. I'm going to rig this up and I'll show you here. And again, I, I do the same on this. I, you know, I wire tie. I just don't have this one uh, just for, for time setup. But um, make sure you trim the skirt back. You don't ever want the skirt to interfere with if you're using a trailer that has moving legs on it you never want the skirt to interfere with that but this right here is my sort of my deep water uh casting setup you know i, I use this like if i'm fishing you know rocky points bluffs uh, steep banks that type of stuff where i'm working the bait just down rocks you know not not around a lot of cover um so Here's basically the uh, the, th the three setups here. Let me see if I can put them in my hand to show you. This uh, YouTube filming by yourself is a little challenging sometimes uh, when you're trying to get stuff laid out. But I'll see if I show you like that. So you got those two set up there, and that particular setup. You know, those are the three right there. This situation here, back to it again, the, the, the old Aikens type jig, finesse jig, I'm pitching this around docks a lot. Um, I'll fish it around some type of shallow cover, shallow rocks, that type of stuff. I'm usually fishing this particular jig if the water depth is less than 10 feet deep um, and I, I'm not fishing it around super thick cover where I've got to penetrate it. I like this bait around docks or logs or stuff like that that's isolated cover in that little bit shallower water. And again, back to the Fish Tech jig. This is my heavy duty uh, compact finesse flipping jig. I'll, I'll flip this in bushes. I'll flip it in thicker laydowns. I'll flip it in, you know, th just thicker type cover in a little bit dirtier water. Um, you know, it's a bait that I'll use, like, for example, down at Grand Lake. If the water's stained, I'll still use a small profile jig in a lot of different colors. 
And again, the uh, uh, the Jill jig with the twin tail on it. This is my deeper than 10 foot water, rocky banks, gravel, that type of stuff. Those are the three setups that I have here. But the main thing I wanna really reiterate in this finesse jig deal, and we'll, I'll talk about more of this in detail as far as, the next thing I'm gonna go into more, you know, the equipment setup as far as the line size and that type of stuff, um, is, uh, you know, like I said, hand tie them, use the wire ties on it, um, experiment with colors. You know, you can use dark colors, you can use natural colors. It's just a matter of experimentation with that. So anyway, that's this part. You know, I'll we'll get more into the detail and the tackle later. Thanks again for tuning in. Appreciate you subscribing and we'll be back soon with another one. See you.